Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is February the 15th, 2021. Let's talk boxing, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. In my favorites folder today is Mauricio Lara's upset of Josh Warrington. You need to save that video because that video reveals a fight style that's going to give problems to fighters who are adaptive reactive like Josh Warrington. Let's talk about what we mean. Warrington doesn't have a lot of power. He's a high energy boxer. He keys off of your pattern, right? He wants to counter you. He wants to develop strategies where as the two of you are engaging, he has solved your pattern. He's able to take advantage of your tendencies and your weaknesses. The times where you leave yourself unexposed, right? Excuse me, exposed, right? Unprotected. Well, what Mauricio Lara is doing here is what we've talked about in other videos. This is a unique skill, right? He's hiding his pattern. He's hiding his hands. You don't know what he's going to do. If you're a Josh Warrington, you're looking for clues. He's providing no clues. And the reason it's devastating is because Lara, and it's important here, can lead with power shots. So look at the spacing between the fighters. Right? Lara stays far away. Laura starts faking, but understand, he's not trying to work his way in behind a jab. He's faking the first punch of what he's going to do. The very first punch. He's not creating openings for himself by coming in with a pattern. Rather, what he's doing is he is faking uppercuts, faking hooks, faking overhand rights. Then, based on what Warrington does, he throws a power shot. It's the lead power shots that destabilize Warrington in the fight. Right? Warrington wants to engage. Warrington is hoping to box. What Lara is doing is to prevent a boxing match from breaking out. He's just trying to throw hard shots. So you'll notice, Lara is not defensively blessed. You'll notice at times, Warrington's able to come in and land his own shots. It's just that Warrington is tailor-made for Lara's style because Warrington doesn't lead with power shots and doesn't hit hard enough to hurt Laura. Right? So Laura, the younger man, is able to literally load up on shots and he's able to keep his balance just coming in and swinging for the fences. Right? This is very different than, let's say, a Deontay Wilder, who is a knockout artist. But Wilder is a guy who likes to keep you at the end of a jab. Wilder actually throws a jab before many of his big right hands. He likes to touch you. That jab is actually a little bit of a tell. You also know Wilder's throwing more times than not. A big right hand up top. Lara is different. You don't know what hand Lara is going to throw. You don't know what punch Lara is going to throw. Right? Lara is leading with power shots to Warrington's body at different times. He's keeping Warrington guessing 
understand this was the first time they fought each other. In the early rounds, Warrington doesn't know the angles at which the punches are coming. And the point is that Lara is heavy-handed in both hands and can throw a bevy of punches. So, Warrington makes a mistake, gets caught. You know the rest. Lara is too far away to hold on to because Lara is keen on distance, right? Understand, there are a few fighters in the sport who know how to distance themselves, so when they hurt you, you can't even clinch them. Just check out Golovkin fights. Lara is that kind of fighter. So you'll notice, Lara's fakes are before he throws the first punch. Lara's first punch could be right, could be left. You'll notice Lara keeps his balance. So when he throws a big punch, if he misses, he's not out of position where he could get knocked out. You'll notice that when Warrington comes forward and hits Lara with a big shot, Lara himself is not trying to hold on. He wants to maintain the distance. So there are times in this fight where Lara just gets hit and he just backs away doesn't want to come in and engage. To sum up this video in a sentence, one way to beat a counterpuncher is to give him nothing to counter. To have the fight be a reduced volume fight. The risk is that you lose on the scorecards. The benefit is that your opponent doesn't know what punch is coming. And because you're leading with power shots, if you can land that first shot and hurt your opponent, you might be able to finish him off. Let me say this too. There are times where Lara actually exchanges with Warrington. That's after Warrington's badly hurt. Right? Understand, Lara's entire game is to hurt his opponent and then finish his opponent. Look through Lara's record, too. It's revealing. I believe he loses his first fight. He only loses one other match after that. By stoppage to a guy with only six fights. Right? I'm guessing he got caught. Because he's outside and he's swinging for the fences. He's not trying to engage a boxer. Understand, too, what low output does for you. It helps your stamina. You're not extending yourself. The kind of rough and tumble, high-energy fight that Josh Warrington typically has doesn't happen here. The first round is spirited. It looks like it's a lot of action. But you notice Lara's not throwing that many punches. He's not trying to develop a jab. As he moves around the ring, he's not up on his toes because, again, understand, he's leading with power shots. He wants to be flat-footed when he throws the shots so he can have leverage. There's never a time in this fight, in my opinion, where Lara looks like he's trying to win a round. Right? Where he's trying to outbox Warrington to win the round from a boxing perspective on the scorecards. No, he's a puncher. He wants to catch Warrington. Right, so his game is to come in and faint. Right, he doesn't have a Deontay Wilder A plus straight right hand. That's not his game. It's not to set up a particular punch. It's just to come in. See if something's open. 
see if he can faint something open. So there are times in the fight where he comes in and he's moving like this, not throwing, not throwing a jab. He's not trying to fill in the slow parts of the fight with jabs. He's not trying to land more volume than Warrington. He's just trying to hurt Warrington. And because he's two-handed, and because these guys haven't fought before, because he's unfamiliar, Warrington is perplexed. Right? He doesn't know what to do. He's expecting a chess match where the two fighters are engaging each other. He's expecting the guy to come after him, where Warrington can then stay away from his jab, pick an angle where the guy is unprotected, jump in. He's expecting the guy to actually form a pocket. No, Lara is not trying to form a pocket. He's trying to stay outside. Faint, 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 come in with a big shot. Then he'll change the cadence. Right? He comes up, he'll throw a big shot. Then he's moving away. Right? He's not trying to set up a pocket and break down Warrington in the pocket. No, he's trying to lead with power shots. Pot shot Warrington to the canvas. And folks, that's what he does. I'm reading reports here where Warrington wants a rematch. Be careful what you ask for. I'm hoping this corner looks at the film and realizes, you know what? This guy, at a minimum, hits harder than our guy. This guy doesn't want to engage our guy. If our guy is going to force a sustained battle, he's going to have to be the one on his front foot relentlessly diving in on this heavy-handed opponent. Right, you'll notice too, Warrington comes forward at times. Laura backs away. Right, the spacing is more important to Laura than engaging in the fight. Right, so, if you're looking for a fight film, where a guy leads with power shots, where he's a power shot pot shotter, where he's not even wasting time with the jab. Quite frankly, he's not even wasting time thinking about defense that much. Right? You don't see Lara moving his head that much. In fact, he gets caught with some headshots. He's made a decision that he's going to throw power shots on the other guy until he lands a few. And he's going to maintain spacing so he can dive in with the power shots. His defense is just the spacing. He's not adept at putting his hands up. He's not trying to move his head. There's limited movement. He's in it to land power shots and to be strong in the later rounds. Folks, it worked. He beat Josh Warrington. If I were advising Warrington, I would say, hey, stay away from this guy. This wasn't a title fight. Clear your head. I believe some of the best advice boxers can receive is to hear that styles make fights. And sometimes the other guy just has a style that fits yours like a key in a lock. Right? As I've said here many times, Aran Barkley beat Thomas the Hitman Hearns twice. Vernon Forrest beat Sugar Shane Mosley twice. If I'm Warrington, I want to be able to say, you know what, I had a bad night, and then move on to other fighters. What I don't want to do is to fight this guy again. Have this guy know that he can knock me out. Have this guy prepared again to do the same thing only with more conviction. 
right? Warrington is not going to be able to match Lara's punching power anytime soon. He needs to privately talk with his corner and he needs to come to the conclusion that, look, this guy's a bad matchup for me. Now is not the time for me to have a rematch. I don't care if the contract has a rematch clause in it. Now's not the time to exercise it. Right? After all, Josh Warrington was the big name going into this fight. The fans still know him. They're going to buy tickets for it. Lara, by contrast, right, who viewed this as the fight of a lifetime and who delivered, isn't that well known. Warrington has plausible deniability to say, hey, I'm going to take some time off. Wait till Lara announces his next opponent and is unavailable. Right? Pick your comeback against a style that suits you. Someone who wants to box you. Right? Someone you know is going to allow a pocket to be formed. Who has weaknesses you can exploit as the two of you engage in exchanges. It's very hard to do that against a low volume fighter like this who can lead with power shots and who's sophisticated. I don't care if Lara's only 22 years old, folks. He's sophisticated on spacing. He's sophisticated on pacing. Right? He only engages Warrington for sustained periods of time after Warrington is badly hurt. He's two-handed. You don't know if he's going to lead with a left hook or a straight right hand or an uppercut. Right? This guy's dangerous. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.